bullet trains are finally coming to the US. The mega project known as Brightline West claims to be able to get people from LA to Las Vegas in a blazing fast two hours. And given that the colossal undertaking recently broke ground and construction is just setting off, this is the perfect time to cover this project. This video will discuss the exact details of the project, like the speed of the all electric trains, how much taxpayers are estimated to be chipping in, and so much more. Stick around because this is gonna be a good one. America has never been too keen on high-speed passenger rail trains. While many people have spoken out with interest in the ideas over much of the last century, it's pretty clear that the nation's historical ambivalence towards rail development has played a significant role. Over a century ago, US locomotives were some of the best in the world. Thomas Edison boasted in 1882 that he could drive his new electromagnetic engine at 180 miles per hour if he wanted to. In 1893, the steam-powered Empire State Express broke 112 miles per hour on a straightaway near Buffalo. Despite these early achievements, trains lost their luster after World War II when federal legislation favored private cars and commercial jets. The shift was cemented in 1956 when President Eisenhower signed the Federal Aid Highway Act committing $25 billion or $287 billion in today's money to build expressways for economic growth and national defense. Consequently, America's rail infrastructure lagged behind, and high-speed rail projects struggled to gain traction. The introduction of Japanese bullet trains in the 1960s showcased the potential of modern rail, but American efforts like the Turbo Train and Metro Liner were plagued by design flaws and inadequate infrastructure. These issues, coupled with budgetary restraint and a focus on mixed-use tracks, have continually hindered the development of a robust high-speed rail network in the US. Fast forward to the early 2000s when an idea was introduced to provide an alternative to car and air travel between LA and Las Vegas along Interstate 15 with a terminal in Victorville. Initially, the project was estimated to cost $5 billion, with funding sought through private investors and a federal loan. By 2011, the route was approved and the train was designed to travel at up to 150 miles per hour, covering the Victorville to Las Vegas trip in a relatively short amount of time. However, construction faced delays due to funding issues with the estimated cost rising to $6.9 billion by 2012. In June 2012, the project expanded under the new name Express West, with plans for additional routes to Arizona, Utah, and Colorado. A proposed link from Victor Valley to Palmdale would connect to the Metrolink system, allowing a one-transfer trip from LA to Las Vegas. Funding challenges persisted, with a federal loan suspended in 2013. A brief joint venture with China Railway in 2015 ended in 2016 due to regulatory issues, but Express West remained committed to completing the project. In September 2018, Fortress Investment Group, the owner of Florida's Brightline Rail Route, announced its acquisition of the Express West project. By October of 2019, design plans were nearly 30% complete, and the project was rebranded as Brightline West in September of 2020. And finally, after many delays, groundbreaking occurred on April 22nd of 2024, with service expected by 2028, expected to generate around 18,000 jobs at its peak. The tracks are planned to be laid in the median of Interstate 15, except for a short section connecting Rancho Cucamonga and a section on the east side of the highway near the Las Vegas station. Sections will pass through federal land managed by the BLM and the National Park Service. At first, the build was expected to be a double rail system, but due to space restrictions on the highway median, Brightline intends to build the project as a mostly single track route with passing sidings. Initially, the route didn't extend into LA due to the high cost of urban rail construction. However, the 50 mile extension from Victor Valley to Palmdale connected to the California high-speed rail system to provide service to Los Angeles. And in June of 2020, planning began for a rail line south of Apple Valley over the Cajun Pass to Rancho Cucamonga for more direct LA service without rolling out the Palmdale expansion. It's been said that future phases may include extensions to major surrounding cities like Phoenix, Salt Lake City, or Denver. In 2009, Express West estimated around 5 million round-trip passengers in the first full year, with one-way fares starting around $50 between Victor in Las Vegas. By 2012, the round trip fare was planned to be around $89, with trains running every 20 minutes during peak times and up to every 12 minutes as demand required. But as of 2020, departures were then planned to be only every 45 minutes. In 2023, Brightline West relocated more sections of the route into the median of Interstate 15, and the vehicle maintenance facility was moved to a 246-acre site west of I-15 in Sloan, Nevada, connecting to the Union Pacific Main Line. The Las Vegas station will be located south of the Strip on Las Vegas Boulevard, across from the premium outlet South Mall. The two-story station will feature both retail and restaurant space. The land was acquired in July 2021, and renderings were released in April 2023. On the California side, the Victor Valley station will be located in 
the northeast portion of Apple Valley, adjacent to Interstate 15 at Dale Evans Parkway. In June of 2020, Brightline signed a lease agreement with the California Department of Transportation for the Interstate 15 right-of-way between Las Vegas and Victor Valley, with a 50-year lease starting at $842,000 per year. A similar agreement was signed in March 2023 for the Apple Valley to Rancho Cucamonga segment. A six-foot-high concrete barrier will separate the rail line from vehicles along the center divider of Interstate 15, preventing dangerous wildlife crossings. And these full-scale crossings will be built at Soda, Katy, and Clark Mountains to support big horn sheep and other wildlife. The vehicles will need a high power to weight ratio to climb the steep grades on the planned route, which can be up to 4.5% between Victorville and Las Vegas and up to 6% through Cajun Pass. The Valero series, designed for the German high-speed rail system, handles grades up to 4% on the Cologne Frankfurt high-speed rail sign, surpassing the EU's technical specifications for interoperability, which mandate a maximum grade of 3.5%. Brightline was in active discussion with Alstom and Siemens Mobility until mid-2024 to procure rolling stock for the service and potential future routes. In May of 2024, Siemens announced that Brightline had selected them as the preferred train vendor for the Brightline West service, with an initial order of 10 American Pioneer 220s. The American Pioneer 220, a variant of the Siemens Valero Novo, is a high-speed fully electric multiple unit. Brightline would be the first customer of the Siemens Valero Novo platform, which has been tested in Germany and has a design top speed of 225 miles per hour. As of the most recent update, the Brightline West service will operate up to 25 train pairs traveling at up to 200 miles per hour. At these speeds, the vessels will be comparable to Japan's Shinkans and bullet trains. The Brightline West project has a funding structure that includes both private and public contributions. As of today, the project's total estimated cost is $12 billion, with a portion coming from federal, state, and local government sources, and the rest from private financing. The project received a significant boost from the Federal-State Partnership for Inner-City Passenger Rail Grant Program, which awarded a $3 billion grant to Brightline West. This grant is part of the broader efforts under the Bipartisan Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act to support major infrastructure projects across the U.S. The California Infrastructure and Economic Development Bank has been a key supporter as well, which approved $3.25 billion in bonds in 2019. Additionally, California provided $600 million in tax-exempt private activity bonds, while Nevada has also contributed by allocating $200 million of this same type of bond. Private activity bonds are tax-exempt bonds issued by state or local governments on behalf of a private project that serves a public purpose, with the repayment responsibility lying on the private entities managing the project. In January 2024, Brightline West received $2.5 billion more in private activity bonds from the U.S. Department of Transportation. The remainder of the project's funding, expected to come from private sources, includes additional private investments and debt financing to cover the project's overall cost. According to Brightline, there are several benefits to completing this project. For one, it should help significantly reduce the number of vehicles on Interstate 15, a road that consistently builds up miles of traffic. This will not only help reduce travel times by car, but also has environmental benefits. By reducing an expected 700 million miles traveled by car per year and the associated 400,000 tons of CO2 emissions. Economically, Brightline claims the project will bring in around $1 billion in tax revenues while creating 35,000 construction jobs and around 1,000 permanent jobs. And interestingly, but maybe not a surprise at all, a major goal of Brightline West is to have the system operating in time for the Summer Olympics in LA in 2028. I want to thank you for watching the video and ask that you consider checking out some of my other content. I recently rebranded my channel to BuildCore and I'm excited for the continued growth. If you have any suggestions for future videos or feedback to provide on this video, please let me know down in the comments. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.